Hello everybody and welcome to Rest in Reason. I'm RP the Red Panda and today we have another game versus game video between Shoes Tactics and Welcome To. Now Shoes Tactics is a game that's going to be coming to Kickstarter. It's a solo campaign game and Welcome To is a fast growing classic of the board game industry with several different versions. But the big thing that these two have in common because they sound so different is their roll and write mechanic. Now, roll and write is best typified by Yahtzee, right? With Yahtzee, what you do is you roll dice, and then with Yahtzee, you re-roll it. In these games, you don't actually re-roll. And then once you've rolled a couple times in Yahtzee, you write down on your piece of paper the results, whatever results you chose. And all roll and writes have that as their core. You roll and then you write the results for points. However, let's get straight into the comparison. Round one, endurance, replayability, welcome to wins. In replayability, Shoes Tactics was really fun to replay, but like any campaign game, it has the problem that once you finish the campaign, it probably won't be as fun to play again. Or you might play it one more time just to do a slightly different way than you did it the first time, and then after that, you're probably going to give it to somebody else or sell it because you've already played the game. Welcome 2, on the other hand, has the advantage that you're playing it with other people, which means that you're constantly going to have new people you're going to want to show this really awesome game to. Master Ability. Choose Tactics. Wins. It takes the luck of a normal roll and write and reduces it significantly. So let's go ahead and see how it does this. So in Shoes Tactics, instead of rolling the dice every turn, you roll the die on one turn. So you, I got a five. I'm going to put it here, here, and here, right? Next turn, I don't roll the die. Instead, I move it to all the spaces I didn't use last time. So... This means that, yes, the luck determines in what order the actions come, but every two turns, you are going to have the option of doing everything. In Welcome 2, they did reduce the luck a little bit by making it so that it was cards instead of dice, which means that the odds are more predictable. But there's still that element that the cards may not come out in the way you need them to come out or in the order you need them to come out. And that means that it's a little bit more lucky, so Shoes Tactics wins in Master Ability. Round one, tie. Round two, design. Novelty of mechanics, Shoes Tactics wins. Primarily because of that system I just explained. It has such a unique way of doing this roll and write. And it's able to do this because it's a solo game. You can take all of that time to go and choose your actions and put them out meticulously whereas welcome to because it's honestly more of almost a party game people would get really bored if you were taking that long on your turn so it has to be a little bit more fast paced but both honestly did pretty good with making the old roll and write genre a little bit new welcome to does this by having a deck of cards where you're flipping over the cards this one does it with this unique system of rolling the die and then switching your actions on the second turn. Synergy. Shoes Tactics wins. And I want to go ahead and show you how. So you'll notice on Shoes Tactics that the same symbols seem to be popping up all over the place, right? And that is usually a good sign of synergy. It means that everything you are doing in the game is going to get you to do even more in the game. Additionally, it mixes several different puzzles together. You're trying to complete these puzzle pieces to then put them into this puzzle. You're trying to go around here to get special extra actions and extra puzzle pieces. You're trying to do this to get little freebies to fill in those little gaps where your puzzle pieces didn't quite fit. You're trying to do this just to get a bunch of different bonuses. But all of these things work together. They all have strings that attach them. Welcome to, on the other hand, is really well synergized. In fact, it was the difference of a tiny little, I think, half a point between the two of them. The only big thing that hurt Welcome to is that there is one particular card called the Temp Agency. And the Temp Agency is just markedly worse than the other cards. 
And so it means that Welcome To loses out a smidge on Synergy because it has that card and that strategy that doesn't quite work, whereas Shoes Tactics really doesn't. Round two, Shoes Tactics wins! Round three, Audience, Simplicity, Welcome To wins! Shoes Tactics is an upper mid-level to maybe even a high-level roll and write, whereas Welcome To is just a smidge above beginner and honestly it's even a game i would play with beginners as long as i knew that that beginner would be okay with a slightly more complicated game and so in that case obviously welcome to had to win because it just had that more beginner feel whereas shoes tactics is a great game but you really need a couple of roll and rights under your belt a couple of board games under your belt before you want to go tackle this game alone universality welcome to wins now welcome to wins in universality purely based off of player count now many of you might ask isn't that a little unfair towards solo games and smaller games yes but it also is true that you're not going to be able to take the game out as much which is what universality really is about if the game has you only playing with one player count one player four player in any of those cases the game is going to be harder to take off the shelf because you're going to need that exact number of players welcome to on the other hand is a game that you can play basically anywhere with basically anyone and with up to a hundred players round three welcome to wins round four theme mechanical welcome to wins mostly because when i was playing shoes tactics and even when you look at the shoes tactics board none of it really feels like you're fighting a rebellion it feels like you're playing a really interesting strategy puzzle but it's honestly almost an abstract game the only thing that keeps it from being an abstract game is the little encounters you get to do where you get to read text and story but that's not enough to make it a really mechanically thematic game whereas welcome to yes the roll and write part of it honestly doesn't feel super thematic there's no real reason you'd be getting random houses and features to put in a town but it does feel really thematic when you're writing on your sheet your sheet looks like a 1950s town and you're writing in this 1950s town and that just works so well at making you feel like you're the city planner for a 1950s little cul-de-sac artistic welcome to wins in shoes tactics you've seen the art on the boards now that we've gone in on them and it's good art but honestly it's not very thematic art first of all because the game is supposed to be you fighting a sorcerer and it doesn't really have any kids feel to it but despite not really being a kids game it looks kind of like a kids game but the art does bring out something that i enjoyed looking at so i still think it was a decent game whereas welcome to the art that you get on every single thing is just like this box it makes you feel like you are in the 1940s or 50s round four welcome to wins round five entertainment thought welcome to and shoes tactics tie both of these games get a perfect five out of five because both of them are games that i want to keep thinking through the puzzle the only reason i would say if you're looking for a good thoughtful roll and write you would choose one over the other is choose shoes tactics if you want a solo game choose welcome to if you want a group game especially a large group game energy shoes tactics wins after playing chapter one of shoes tactics i basically immediately wanted the second chapter that is a definite sign that the energy of this game was infectious it was something i wanted to play again and again and the biggest thing that surprised me is i don't like solo games i don't like playing most games alone because most games the solo game feels tacked on or fake or they're usually story based so it feels more like you're reading a choose your own adventure book than you're playing a game and shoes tactics actually combines the two really really well it both feels like you're 
re doing a choose your own adventure and it feels like you're playing an actual game with mechanics and i truly don't think this game would work with multiple players whereas most solo games with great mechanics would honestly work better if you were playing against other people welcome to on the other hand did really good with energy but i've found that after a game of welcome to you usually aren't like man i have to play another one right now a lot of times because of how peaceful and wonderful the game is once you've finished, you feel content, you feel full, you don't need another one. Round five, Shoes Tactics wins. Victor, total score, Shoes Tactics, 3.7. Welcome to, 4.1. Welcome to, wins. Welcome to gets a gold recliner. Welcome to is an amazing, I would argue, party or family game. It is just beautiful and wonderful and thoughtful and inviting on so many levels it is a greatest of all time roll and write i truly believe that everybody should own this game i think that it should be as common as monopoly definitely as common as yahtzee shoes tactics gets a silver recliner the only reason it's a general and not a universal everybody should get this is because it is a solo game and solo games are by nature something that very specific people are going to want. And so I would say if you're looking for a solo game, this is the best solo game I have ever played. Hands down. Get this solo game. I really want to know, did you enjoy this review? Do you enjoy this style? And what games would you like me to do a versus of in the future? Maybe a connection I haven't thought of. And any feedback you guys have on how I could make these videos better would be much appreciated. I really enjoy interacting with you guys over board games and thinking about board games with you guys. And this is a way to do that. So please subscribe so you can join that conversation in the future. And as always, thank you for joining us today on Rest and Reason.